Hi guys and welcome back to LPB Racing for the LPB WTCR series on GT Sport. This is race two from Willow Springs. We're getting ready for a start. We've got weight on this race because the top five will have weight on from the last time. So Callum at the front, he will have 200 kilos added to his car. Neil, 160. Bids to 120. Seek, 80. And Rodders, 40. As away we go. Good start by everyone, obviously the front wheel drive's a bit slower off the grid and we've got someone kicking up the dust already at the back as we head down towards Turn 1. Brilliant stuff as we head down towards Turn 1. Just put the racing info up there so you can see what, where, where people are. Bids are getting mobbed backwards as everyone goes into Turn 2 together. Neil Farmack third, Bids are on the inside in fourth, They're trying to give people space, Rodders side by side with him. There's Rodders. As we're just going, we're just going to switch to the other camera, see what it looks like for this race. As we go down towards the chicane, Rodders on the inside, and then Jamo trying to sneak through as well. Bids to hung out to dry, and then he's going to try and keep the inside. Task one looking to attack as well. Incredible stuff. Jamo and Rodders, the two teammates together, the two Lexuses, and then Alice Subaru's going to try and go up the inside of Rodders. Task one trying to take opportunity here. And these variable cameras are a lot better than the standard ones on this track, so we'll keep with these. As we go down the back straight, Task 1 ahead, Rodders will have the power in the Lexus though, watch out for this. Meanwhile, Seat 1 and Neil Farmack close together, BMW versus Audi. Rear wheel drive BMW, front wheel drive Audi. As we come down towards the next corner, Callum in the lead. Seat 1, Neil. Then back here we've got Bidster, Jamo. Then further back we've got Task 1 with Rodders up the inside. And the last corner, Rodders having a sneaky look at the inside but no way through. As we look back towards the leaders, so seat one second place, Neil third. Bidster under attack from Jamo. The power of that Lexus is incredible down the straights, but Bidster having none of it into the corner. Bidster defends the inside. Good job there. And as we look back at task one, and then we've got Stacker and Rodders together. Rodders keeps ahead of Stacker, so Rodders goes back behind task one there so we're looking for him there's seek one with Neil Farmack right behind Bidster closing up as well so Bidster's on the move so Bidster's car really liking this circuit as we go up through this up the up through the complex section up to the top of the hill oh Bidster pushing Neil around almost having a look and meanwhile back here Rodders Stacker and Firepower very close together as well so we've, unfortunately we've not got TY in this race again and Nick Hash because they're both couldn't get on for the start of the race because the cars, uh, well, uh, TY obviously not feeling very good uh, this time, so we'll see him back at Red Bull Ring, as I said in the last race, as Neil goes alongside seat one, brilliant stuff, and then Nick Hash unfortunately wasn't able to start due to the connection difficulties. As Nick, uh, Neil Farrant goes through, seat one leaves the door open, and Bista tries to get past both of them, and he's done it, and he's under the kerb, onto the, onto the gravel, trying too hard. Neil goes back through, Jamo might even get back through as well. Oh, fantastic scrap here. As, we, as Bidster and Seat one are side by side now, down towards the next corner. As everyone goes through, so Bidster back to fifth place for one mistake. Stacker defending from Firepower. So Firepower clearly got a good run out the last corner, so that, that, that uh, stays the same. So Callum in the lead then, not by too far. And then, but there's Neil, Jamo, and Seat one with Bidster just in front of him. So Bidster's got past seat one again, seat one looking for the inside, no way through, Bidster defends. No way through there. There's Jamo looking to attack, Neil Farmack again, goes for a slightly wider line in, Bidster over the, over the inside, obviously that's the different lines for the front wheel drive. As we go into this corner, and then on to the back straight, this is where the Lexus will come in handy, as seat one under attack from task one here, so the Belgians having a good little scrap here, the Subaru pulls out to overtake, but he'll not have the top end speed, he'll have to tuck in behind. There's Jamo and Neil Farmack now, very close to each other, Jamo practically pushing Neil Farmack round this second to last corner, down towards the last corner now, will he go for a move, will he brave it? He'll be very brave to fish an overtaking move round here, as Bidster's right behind Jamo as we've got a car off in the background, we've got a car off in the background, who was that? That's seat one's off. So was the contact, we'll get a replay. Okay, here's a replay of what happened to Seek 1 on lap 3. So we're going around the second to last corner, approaching the last corner. Watch Seek's car here as he goes into the corner. Just too late on the brakes and then off into the sand and then slides that BMW. I have to say, a very nice hold there, very nice drift. And then uh, gets back on the track and then rejoins in last place. As we come back, Rodders goes off as well, so Rodders goes off on his own I think, so it gets passed by Firepower, 
as we go back to the battle up front Neil Farmack and Jamo still battling at it fantastic racing here in LPB Racing and this is the, what we're going to expect for the whole season brilliant stuff as we go around this long long right hander turn two really punishing on that front left tyre especially for the front wheel drive and the four wheel drive cars not so much on the rear drive so they can sort of power slide the way through to a point as bids do behind Jamo now looking for a way through so harassing Jamo takes a bit of pressure off Neil as further back we've got stack of firepower all close together this is where the Subaru is strong up this back section the uh, the hoppy Subaru I'm not, sort of, not saying it's hoppy because of the uh, rally uh, background of Subarus but because it says Hoppy on the car as you can see there They're sponsored by a Japanese company Hoppy and we look at Jamo right behind Neil Farmack will he go for a move or will he wait for the straight he'll probably end up waiting for the straight and try and get him on over speed into the corner we go Neil Farmack with a good line so is Jamo really good stuff here as we go on board with Neil Farmack here and we look back Jamo's coming alongside in the Lexus bits this further back and not got the speed in that Scirocco so you see Jamo on the outside, Neil on the inside, Neil keeps the inside and will Bids have an attack here because some, some, one of the car, no, both cars might be a bit slower out the corner but no, no way through there as Stacker and Firepower still battling it out as Firepower goes and does what Subarus do best, goes on the dirt Bids to there right behind Jamo and Neil Farmack turned into a brilliant three-way scrap here Callum not that far ahead as well so if these lot three can get their head down they might end up catching Callum before the end of the race so don't forget people on different tyres in this one as well so I'll just bring up that briefly as we're watching this battle so let's have a look at what tyres people are on so if you look up in the quickly in, oh Jamal actually might go for a switch back here but no so Callum is on the softs Neil softs Jamo super softs and he's going round Neil here and then we've got Bidster on the softs as well so the front runners are all on the softer tyre as we go around this long corner brilliant stuff here from Neil Farmack and Jamo side by side Bidster looking to go on the outside as well just carry some over speed but no way through there Neil goes back to the inside then Bidster's going to go to the inside as well I think we're three wide down the straight we are absolutely three wide down the Willow Springs straight all three across the line simultaneously down towards the first corner Jamo's on the inside Neil in the middle Bizda lets him go task one saying I want to get involved in this as well goes to the goes to the outside oh incredible stuff as Bidster right behind Neil now Jamo's took advantage of all this and got ahead so brilliant stuff there three wide down the straight you don't see that often as bids to look to get past neil farmack now looking to the inside having a little dart about goes to the inside neil says no you don't sunshine and shuts that door in his face no you don't and as we go up up this through this complex section neil farmack catching up to jamo again task one right behind the scirocco of bidster got to watch out for that subaru attacking because there's not much in the, in the uh, in the way of top speed between the scirocco and the subaru they're both as bad as each other when it comes to that brilliant stuff here Stacker back in sixth as we take a little break from that and a oh brief and then Stacker oh, sorry Seek one in eighth Rodders back in ninth so they're not having a particularly good race as we watch the top lock come through so we'll try and get uh, a view on those tyres now so as Neil Farmack goes wide and he's made a mistake and then bang and his task oh task one goes off he could not do anything there to avoid Neil Neil just made a mistake and task one wrong place wrong time just that's how racing goes we're very unfortunate there for task one but uh, he continues regardless anyway so task one resumes in seventh place behind his teammate firepower so we'll just quickly look through those tires then so race soft tires for callum super softs for jamo softs for bidster softs for neil so in the, and softs for stacker so they're all running the op, the um, the option tire in this one so no i'm running the prime tire because obviously remember you've got to run the medium tire at least once over the three races but yep, seat one's using his medium tyres, that's probably why he's further back, and Rodders. But near the end of the race, they might come back because their tyre wear is not as bad as the others. As we look at Callum in the lead. And there's Jamo, just a bit more separate now. Still a few little battles going on because we've got the two Subarus back here battling, so I'll just take that information off, guys. There we go. Firepower defending from his teammate. Oh, very close as he comes up over the kerb. Tass one goes to the inside and goes through, I think Firepower would probably, yeah, go very wide there, just letting him go, so he knows his teammate's faster, just thought he'd let his teammate go ahead and pull him along, so sensible stuff there, good teamwork by the two Subaru boys. Meanwhile here, here's the two guys at the back on medium tyres, Seek, One and Rodders. 
So Seek one obviously had that excursion earlier and Rodders obviously a few excursions himself just uh, not uh, feeling the, feeling those medium tyres but they might come in towards the end so you never know. So as we go back to a look at his teammate then, Jammo in the lead makes a little mistake on the gravel there. Oh, on the sand, very close to making a big mistake there. That's where he made a mistake in, in race one. He's got to be careful not to repeat that. Because this man Bidster is right behind him and he looks like he's hungry for something. Looks like he's hungry for a win. But Callum is quite far ahead still. As we go up through the complex section as the two Subarus are still battling out with each other. Firepower's not leaving Tats 1 alone. So clearly the two teammates battling for supremacy here. Good to see Firepower in the scrap. He spent many a season near the back of the field and now he's up in the mid-pack and he's fighting for those places. It's really nice to see after all that, all these years of hard work and it's finally paying off. Right up in the middle of the pack, challenging his teammate for supremacy. That's what we want to see. So as you look back at Bidster and Jamo, they're still up front. Bidster gets a good run out of this last corner. Yes, he does. But again, as soon as he gets onto the straight, that Lexus just pulls away. As we'll look here, even in the draft, Bidster cannot get close because the horsepower of that Lexus is just too much. Cannot get close at all. So into the first corner goes the tied Lexus number 98, Jamo. Very experienced racer. We've been LPB racing for it since the start, so good to see Jamo up front. And Bidster right behind him. Callum's leading the race, obviously, the number one, the uh, champion from last season. Callum leading the way. Looking quite dominant here. So well done to Callum as Jamo and Bidster still very close together, still they're partly harassing each other and partly trying to pull each other along up to Callum. So let's see how that goes over the race as we look at Neil Farmack back and forth with Stacker his teammates and the two Spitfire cars, the Audi Spitfire team. You'd think it would be the Audi Messerschmitt team, but no, the Audi Spitfire team in fourth and fifth. And we've got Task 1 and Firepower running in suit as well, the two Subarus, the two Hoppy Racing Subarus. So they run in sixth and seventh place. Then we've got Seek 1 in the uh, Jägermeister BMW. Uh, obviously TY's teammate unable to participate this, this round and also there's Rodders who's Jamo's teammate in the uh, tide racing Lexus further back so Callum in the lead still in the lead as Bidster and Jamo are still pulling each other around they're not really battling too hard they're just trying to pull each other around up to Callum I would imagine as Jamo's defence slightly is to show Bidster the inside just to make sure he knows he's not going to go for a move as Bidster's look at the look at the cornering speed of that front wheel drive right up behind Jamo on, through that long corner you'd think the long corners won't be good with front wheel drives but Bidster's not showing that at all Jamo has to defend now he's having to think about defensiveness so will Bidster go for a move up here will he go for the inside on a cutback he's going to go do a cutback anyway because that's the front wheel drive line but no way through there as of yet Meanwhile, the two team Spitfire cars, the two uh, Audi teammates, they're in fourth and fifth still, no change on them. So, no change on them as of yet, as Jamo and Bids are still close together, not close enough to make moves on each other still. Consistent lap times, or to a point. As we go around this long, long right-hander, then into the last corner, they are visually catching up to Callum. So I wonder whether it's a matter of time before Callum gets caught, but we'll see, because see if Callum can pull some pace out of the bag. You never know, he might be sandbagging a little bit, just trying to take the edge off those tyres. There he is, but then there's Jamo, followed by Bidster. So Bidster running independent this season, because all the teams were taken, so he volunteered to uh, go independent for this season. Number 22 is back with his own colour scheme. There's the Tide Lexus and there's the GoPro uh, team of Bidster. Into, well, not the GoPro team, but the GoPro independent. As Jamo runs a bit wide, Bidster looks for a move here. One mistake from Jamo and he'll let Bidster have a go through, so he can't get away with that too much. As yet they are getting closer and closer to Callum in front. Still no cigar just yet as Bidster gets in the draft of that Lexus. He'll not be able to pass the Lexus down here, but he'll get in the draft and he'll get damn close. 
As you look back at Task 1 and Firepower there, still in the same order. Task 1 with the fastest lap of the race, you can see on the right-hand side at the bottom of the screen on lap 2, 116.9. So fastest lap for Task in this one, so so far, Task 1 gets the extra point for the fastest lap. So there's an extra point for pole position in race 1, obviously race 1 qualifying. And then, obviously, an extra point for fastest lap in all three races, so... Those four extra points could mean the difference between champion and not champion at the end of the season, so they're all very important to do. As we go around the first corner, both cars into the first corner nice and clean there. Joe, Callum with a bit, of a, a bit wide there, a bit of a mistake from Callum. Rare mistake, so unless he's feeling the pressure because he's being caught, because he knows he's being caught. As we see a bit more dust from Callum, you can see they're all more or less in the same shot now. There they are, catching right up to Callum. As bids to close us right up in this section. This section is the front wheel drive heaven. As we go into the next corner, bids looks for the inside, but no way through. Jamo keeps that door firmly closed on the inside, not leaving a single gap. As we go down through the bottom of the hill, this is where the rear drive will get on the power well. And meanwhile, back here, Stacker and Neil have swapped round. Stacker and Neil have swapped round. I wonder if Stacker said to Neil he's got more pace and he thinks he can catch up, but we'll soon see how that ends up near the end of the race as well. Meanwhile, the top three are close together. There's only about a couple of seconds between all three cars now. As we go into this last corner, as you see Callum not as fast around the corner. No, he's not as fast around the corners at all, so if it looks like Callum's tyres are on the way out here. And here comes Jamo. The speed of that Lexus. Bizzler gets left behind on the straight. Callum now into defensive mode. He's having to defend from Jamo now. Out of the corner we go. Jamo's going to be faster here because Callum's had to defend. But Callum gets the line onto the inside and defends the inside. Bizzler going for the gap on Jamo. Left the door open. Bizzler will be in there. Bizzler doesn't need any second invitations as he starts mowing the, uh, mowing the sand at the same time. As we go up towards the complex section into the left up the hill and then immediate right around the long corner at the top it's more or less one corner that you take as a double apex into the corner bits up the inside again to have a little look at Jamo but no way through as we look at Neil Farmack who was ahead of Stacker again so clearly Stacker made a mistake there and Neil's gone back through as the two Subaru teammates are still battling each other so Task 1 and Firepower still battling each other for 6th and 7th places so that's not over yet plenty of battles to watch us on these last few laps so almost we're almost on the penultimate lap of the race. It will be this time when they cross the line onto the penultimate lap. So the Jack Daniels Mac Mazda losing, losing out on tyres here. The tied Lexus right behind. Waiting for one little mistake from Callum, which is what he gets there. And Jamo moves out. He's going to overtake. And he's got the speed. And he's straight through. Now Biz has got to try and get through past Callum now. Otherwise Jamo is as good as gone. So Jamo goes through. Callum has now got to defend from Bidster, who goes to the outside. Surely there's no way around the outside there, but he is! He's going right round the outside, but I don't think there's going to get it. Callum's going to come across, surely. Yes, he is. Bidster have been very opportunistic there, trying to go for the outside, but Jamo's ahead, pulled out half a second already. As we go around up the, comp up the hill to the complex section, Bidster's got to make his move now. Oh, Jamo is gone. And I think the answer is Jammer will end up disappearing as Bidster goes off. Bidster makes a little mistake, so that's it. Bidster's dropped off this, off those two now a little bit, but it might catch up in a draft, but it'll be very hard for him to do. Neil Farmack and Stack are still battling out for the in the Spitfire Audi team. And then the, the, Hoppy, the Hoppy team, the two Subarus in sixth and seventh place. So again, formation for the, both those two teams go to the last corner bids to be a very good run round there obviously he's, his tyres in a lot better shape than Callum's are as Callum runs wide onto the gravel and that's all the invitation bids will need draft even with the lower speed of the Scirocco straight past the Mazda Atenza but having said that Callum's got his foot down but no bids to goes in front oh well, then goes wide bids to goes very wide at the first corner and Callum goes back up the inside and straight back through so bids to went wide there so got a bit too uh uh, hooked up in the fact that he got into the lead, uh, into second place and then uh, lost concentration and then went back. So back down to third place he goes as Task 1 still in front of Firepower. That's very close as well. Jamo ahead. So this is now just going to be a battle for second place. Bids to desperate to get past Callum here, showing his nose up the inside and everything. Really trying to get past Callum. 
almost touching there as they go down the hill. Down to the, these S's for the last time. Onto the back straight. Bits has got to get in this draft now. He's got to stay with Callum. He's tried to pull alongside, but again, not much speed in that Scirocco. Callum moves to the inside, making his intentions very clear. You are going round the long way or the highway, Sunshine. It's not going to happen otherwise. As we go towards the line, or towards the last corner, Bits is up the inside of the last corner. Last, last lap dash. Up the inside, but over the curve, he's going to lose time. Meanwhile, Jamo's coming up to the line. Jamo's going to take the win. Brilliant win for Jamo. And then across the line, it's going to be very close. And it's just Bidster from Callum. Fantastic finish between them two. Bidster, a very opportunistic move on the last corner. Just got got in the, the second place he needed. Then it's going to be the two Spitfire Audi team cars. Neil from Stacker. Good race for them. And then Firepower is ahead of Task. Firepower's past Task on the last lap. We'll get a replay. Okay, just before we watch that firepower and task into uh, battle, let's uh, watch this. So it was the Callum with Bidster right behind him on the last lap. Very close finish, we'll just have a little look at it. So Bidster goes to the inside then, and goes right through on the inside. And then we get a good line out of the corner, and Bidster goes over on two wheels, loses a bit of speed. And then we're in the draft, we come up, up towards the line. It's going to be very close, and it's just Bidster ahead of us from Callum. Brilliant finish. Okay, here's that replay of our firepower got past Tass then on the last lap, so we're coming up to the complex section. And then on the brakes on the inside, he goes for... Oh, Tass one goes very, very wide there and leaves the door open for firepower, and firepower says, thank you very much, old chum, I'll go straight through. And then he up towards the top of the hill, cuts across in front and gets the position. So as you come back from that, task, uh, firepower gets task one on the last lap. Seek one comes home in eighth position, and Rodders is going to bring his Lexus home in ninth position. What a race that was. Yes, the battles were spread out, but the battles were good. So you can't fault that. Absolutely brilliant stuff. So we'll get those results in for you now. Okay, guys, then, here's the results. So, Jamo wins that one. A good win there for Jamo. And then Bidster just grabs second on the line from Callum. Very close between them two. So, Bidster, Callum, uh, so, uh, Bidster and Callum second and third. And then it's Neil Farmack in fourth place. Stacker gets in the top five. So, well done to him. Congratulations on that one. Firepower in sixth beats his teammate on the last lap. Seat one in eighth position. And Rodders brings it home in ninth position. And Task one gets the fastest lap with a 116.9. So as we come back from that then, there is the winner, Jamo in the Lexus. He wins that race. We should try and get a better shot from him. There we go. There's, 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 there's Jamo. So guys, we'll see you guys for the next race, which will be race three. Take care.